Hi, it's Charlene from The Smart Coupon Lady. Welcome back to my channel. I talk about simple ways to save money using easy tips and tricks. So if that's content that you're interested in, I hope that you will click the like button, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and running. So today I want to talk to you about ways to save money when you go on vacation. Now I'm not talking about major ways to save money on airfare and hotels because there's lots of videos out there that can help you in those areas. And also I'm an expert on those areas. When we go on vacation, my husband tends to book those things. So I don't want to lend you advice that may not be the very best. But what I do want to share with you today are simple ways, smaller ways to save money that you can take that money that you save and put it towards making memories with your families and making fun experiences. So one of the first things that I always do when I think about my vacation is plan what we're going to need to get there. Are we taking a train? Are we taking a plane? Are we driving there? Typically we are either driving or we are taking a plane. So I want to prepare snacks, especially if we are going on a plane, because once you're on a plane, you're sort of stuck there. Or once you're in the airport, you're stuck there. So prior to going away, when I know we're going to be flying, I go to the grocery store and I save on smaller snacks. Now I may buy these well in advance if I know well in advance that we're going on vacation, or if it's not too much in advance, I'll still go to the store and I'll buy smaller packages of items like small things of chips, nuts, fruit snacks, things that we can take with us in the plane. So then what I'll do is I'll put it all out on my table and I let my kids and my husband kind of like go shopping for their snacks. They can come, I give them a bag with their name on it and they fill it. This bag is usually a plastic bag that I'll get at the grocery stores. It's one of those produce bags and I'll let them fill that up with a few snacks that they may want to have on the plane. Then they tie it up and put it in their carry-on so that they have it with them at all times when they are ready to have a snack on the plane. Likewise, I do the same thing similarly in the car, but I may not designate it in a small bag. I may have larger bags. Larger bags of chips and pretzels and things tend to be a little bit cheaper, and I don't mind them opening those up and eating them in the car. But when we're on the plane, I want everyone to have their own individual snacks, so I'll have them shop for those snacks and then put them in a bag. The next thing I always have my kids bring with them and myself as well is a reusable water bottle. Now, the main thing to remember if you're flying with a reusable, reusable water bottle is to make sure it is completely empty. You cannot go through security with any types of liquids. So you wanna make sure that your water bottle is completely empty and dried out. So using a reusable water bottle leads me to my next tip and that is using a hydration station while you're on vacation. Hydration stations have popped up all over different resorts and hotels in the last few years. Typically hydration stations have chilled filtered water so they are completely safe to drink and they are free. So we will typically fill up our water bottle and we'll keep it with us all day. And if it happens to be outside or by the pool or closer to the beach, we'll refill that before we go to bed at night. So we have a nice chilled bottle of water inside at our room or in our Airbnb or wherever we're staying and we don't have to rely on buying water. It is a really good way to save money because as you know, on vacations, bottled water can be a real expense. So bring those reusable water bottles and fill them up at the hydration station. So if you happen to be staying at a hotel that serves free breakfast, as many of them do, here's your chance to really kind of get yourself together and start off your day with a good meal. So obviously you want to make sure you have a good breakfast, a well-balanced breakfast and fill up because hopefully that's going to be a really big main meal of your day. But also think about those things that you may be able to take with you. I always carry a piece of fruit with me or you can grab a yogurt for later on that you can use as a snack. You may want to plan to have your breakfast closer to the end of that breakfast time. So for example, if breakfast runs from seven to nine, you may want to eat your breakfast closer to nine rather than seven. Have a big breakfast, maybe grab a yogurt or a, uh, some kind of a bagel or maybe a piece of fruit for a, an afternoon snack that will sort of stand as your light lunch and then go for an early dinner. This way you don't have to pay for lunch 
either. So you get a free breakfast, you get a free snack, you sort of hold out and then you only have to pay for your dinner. So by not having to pay for all those extra breakfasts and lunches, you are saving a great deal on your vacation. Okay, so we've talked about ways to save money for breakfasts and lunch and a little bit for snacks. So let's talk about ways to save money for dinners. If you um, have a location that again has a stove or any other means to cook food, you could also order in food like we did for breakfast and lunches from the grocery store and cook your own dinners. If you have a grill that you have access to, you could bring in foods that you can grill. Recently on our vacation, we ordered, we just bought some frozen pizzas one night and we had frozen pizzas, um, which saved us a bundle. We also, when we went out, um, when we wanted to order out, instead of going to the restaurant and eating there, we saved on gratuity and drinks by bringing the food as takeout back to our hotel. We sat outside, we had drinks that we already had purchased from the grocery store previously for with our meal, and then we were able to enjoy our meal by saving just a little bit more. But what if you want to go out to dinner, but you want to do it in the most economical way you can? Here are some ways to save money when you go out to dinner. The first thing is try to just stick with drinking water. Once you start adding in uh, carbonated beverages or iced teas or alcoholic beverages, your bill starts to go up, up, up. So if you can convince your party that you're with to stick to water, you will notice that your bill will not be as high. However, if you're with people that want to order extra drinks, see if you can order a large drink with no ice and get some extra cups and share it amongst yourselves. This way, maybe you only have to pay for one drink instead of paying for two or three drinks. Another this way that you can save money when you go out to dinner is by taking advantage of happy hours. Lots of resorts and restaurants that may be by shore towns have happy hours because they know that some of beachgoers or some vacationers like to come right in off their, their beach or right in off the pool and go for a drink and maybe a snack. So here's an opportunity for you to capitalize on those prices that they're offering their specials on. Because as we all know, happy hour prices on some things tend to be a little bit cheaper. So remember we talked about having that larger breakfast if you had could, and then maybe just having some snacks during the day and then going out for an early dinner. Here's an opportunity for you to go out for an early dinner. Happy hours sometimes start as early as four o'clock. So if you can schedule your day so that by four o'clock you are heading over to the restaurant for your happy hour, then you can get a drink if you want, or you can get some food items, and maybe it's not the full menu, but it's going to be items, I'm sure a few that you can find that you will like, and the prices are going to be a lot less. So if you're eating earlier because you're hungry, you've now solved that problem, and your budget's going to be a little bit less because you are eating during those happy hour prices. If you don't want to eat as early as four o'clock, but the happy hour goes from four to six o'clock, get there as close to six as you can without getting shut out of the happy hour prices. The last hint I can give you is to do your research. No matter where you are going, there are always different tips and tricks for that specific area. Go on YouTube and look for videos, go Google it on your phone or on your computer and find out tips and tricks. Here is a very specific example of me doing my research which benefited us we went to las vegas and we were staying at a particular hotel and looking for where we may be able to find some cheaper meals turns out there was a mall across the street from where we were staying and in that mall there was this very nice restaurant that offered meals for four dollars and 95 cents and i mean full meals and good meals so we ended up taking advantage of this restaurant almost every day we were there. It was a full menu, it was full portioned meals, and we were able to either get them at lunchtime and then we would have it for the rest of the day or go there for dinner. And we, most of the time, did it as takeout so that we brought it back to our hotel and we could eat outside and we had our own drinks in our hotel. And for $4.95 a person, it was well worth it. And we even had enough leftovers the next day that we could have for lunch. So. I did my research, I found some inexpensive places to get some good deals, and that's one way that we were able to save money. The other thing I did was I started to save all of my grocery app points, and instead of turning them into cash dollars, I took the gift card option, and I used those for things like Dunkin' Donuts 
and Starbucks and things that I could take and get gift cards and buy for breakfast items and use for snack items so that that money wasn't coming out of my pocket. So I planned ahead knowing that we were going on this vacation and I was able to sort of build up those gift cards a little bit so that I had a little extra money to help us with our um, snacks and breakfast meals. So I hope I gave you some ideas and some food for thought, um, no pun intended. Uh, I hope that you um, can use some of these ideas to kind of bring your budget down and to kind of help you save a little bit of money when you go on vacation. I'd love to hear some of the easy ways that you save money when you go on vacation. So please put those in the comments. And again, uh, if you like this kind of video, please let me know that as well and hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.